Welcome back, everyone. The biggest court case in the country right now just so happens to be between two rich Hollywood crybabies. Details of their dysfunctional, abusive, and also oh bizarre relationship is playing out on national television. I'm talking, of course, about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Depp is suing his ex-wife for defamation. Hollywood may be dead, but sadly, this trial is pure entertainment. Watch this. You know that it's not true. And you know that it's meant as a web. It's just to, it's to slice you up. It's to bring you down. It's to demean you. It's to bring you into a place where you start to believe that there's something wrong with you. <laughs> so what is Johnny Depp's body language signaling to the court and the world? I'm joined now by behavior and body language expert and former U.S. Army interrogator, Greg Hartley is here. Greg, that first clip, what do you make of it? Well, first of all, this is a beautiful train wreck for body language people. We'll get two hours out of this one thing <laughs> during the week at the behavior yeah, panel. We will. But what we, what we see here is he has a baseline that's fairly droning as he speaks. He's a little more animated because he's talking about something he's passionate about here. He doesn't illustrate, meaning punctuate his thoughts at all with his hands. That's his style, his kind of baseline. He uses his forehead. And if you notice, he'll raise his forehead when he's saying something. He also looks down to the left, down to the right, an awful lot in his baseline. I call that looking for change, insecure people do it fairly often, but then make hard eye contact and nod or shake his head. That's in his baseline, so he really believes what he's saying here. Now, I will also say so he does, has you more know, control over muscles than most anyone I've ever seen in my life. You think that's his acting skills? Oh, his acting skills are the most powerful I've ever seen, the nuance in his face. He'll do something in a couple of videos that I've never seen one capable of doing. All right, well, let's, let's play another video here. This is him talking, uh, being cross-examined, about the time he texted a friend about wanting to drown his wife. <laughs> drown his wife, watch. <laughs> After you said, let's drown her before we burn her, Mr. Depp, you yes. said, I will f her burnt corpse afterwards to make sure she is dead. That's what you said that you would do after you burned her and after you drowned her. Did I read that right? You certainly did, yes. <laughs> I don't want to laugh about anyone being drowned or burned. Cl clearly, here, I don't think he was going to actually do that, but right. what do you make of, of his reaction there and, and the sunglasses in court? I mean, why the judge is even letting him wear those, I have no idea. Yeah, I think what we do see here is you see some adrenaline. You see his, his blink rate increase a little. He makes hard eye contact, doesn't move his face a whole lot, doesn't illustrate, looks around, breaks eye contact down to the emotional side. And you watch his head is moving faster and his voice is much more picked up. So you can feel the adrenaline hitting him here because he's on the, he's on the mat right here. He's actually getting called out on something pretty hard. And so what is the adrenaline about? Is it embarrassment or is it guilt of some kind? Well, we can't tell that. Usually what we can tell is that he is feeling discomfort by the attack. Now, whether it's because there's something he's hiding that he thinks is going to come up after this or that's enough, that's plenty because you can hear his pitch raise in his voice and his speed change and then watch his head move in an odd way. You can tell that adrenaline's hitting him. All right, let me play a clip. Um, I don't even know how to say this on TV, but this is a clip. Apparently he gets a text message from somebody at the house that his wife had, uh, well, they're well, just listen to the to his soundbite here. It was a it was a it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Um, so I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Going down there, meaning back to the house. Greg, that's unbelievable. Well, a train wreck again, like I said, just because you have money doesn't mean that you don't have some crazy going on in your life. So there you go. But what I will say is here, he's doing that tone. We're talking about that drone along. He does a right eye accessing cue, when, which we usually associate with emotion when he's asked the question and what it's about. Then you'll watch him. He illustrates with his forehead, and he brings this grief muscle or series of muscles that makes that arch. And then you see him raise his eyebrows with that done. 
I can't do that. I mean, that is powerful. And if he's faking that, that is really powerful. All right, amazing. Um, before I let you go, I want to run a little video here, and I'll let you show it. This is Vladimir Putin. I'm going to switch gears here, but only because it was just so interesting to watch a guy I know is so powerful. Let's roll the video, guys, back there. Uh, this is Vladimir Putin talking to his defense minister, and uh, that looks like a photo there, but uh, do we have video of that? I thought we did. Uh, um, but anyway, what do you make of his positioning there? Well, I watch in the video, he's braced for some reason. If you notice, he's what we would refer to as turtling or shrinking target. His chin is down, his body is braced back. He's fidgeting with his left hand, his foot is fidgeting on the right side, and he's gripping the table. All those are adapters and release of nervous energy, but that shrunken body, and he clears his throat, which is another adapter. So whether he's hiding something about illness or something else, he's certainly uncomfortable here in a big way. Yeah, and that's the big uh, question is, is he suffering from cancer? There's been saying something about that, and he doesn't look good in that picture. Greg Hartley, as always, great to see you, my friend. Great work tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Real pleasure.